Hi, my name is Blair Glenn. I'm an ISA certified arborist. The topic that I'd like to talk about here is regarding a redwood planting that was done in 1971. And to the left of the picture, you can see a row of dots. That's actually a hillside, and that's when the trees were put in. I'm fortunate to have some interesting photographs here. This is after 10 years of growth. There's a little closer view. You can see most of the trees are about uh, 20 to 25 feet tall. And here's what the trees look like in 2002. The trunks on most of these trees were 28 to 36 inches in diameter after only 31 years of growth. All the trees were planted on a slight hillside that was likely um, a fill that uh, was created for the, the construction project and uh, there was an adequate amount of irrigation for these trees. And you can see that the trees are marked for removal and I'll show you why. Additionally, when all the trees were planted in 1971, they were planted in these uh, raised wooden berms, uh, presumably to contain the root soil and uh, make it easier to water. Well, in 2002, one of the trees failed, flopped over, and hit the neighbor's house. I showed up about six months after the tree had failed and there was a considerable amount of re-sprouting, probably five feet of new growth in, in a very short period of time from the roots. The top of the tree was cleaned up but the roots were left intact and that's how I was able to make these observations. The trees all appeared to be in different stages of health. Some of them were declining. Many of them were listing I was trying to analyze why there was such a problem. Uh, my best guess is that these trees were grown in a fill situation that was not quite as stable as a natural soil environment. And I'm not sure if the ivy added to the problem or not, but there was a considerable amount of ivy growing along this entire hillside. Here's a long shot showing the different degrees of health, and some of the trees are very sparse, as you can see. They weren't particularly tall trees. Um, I'm not sure if that had anything to do with uh, the poor soil or, or what the, the reasoning here was. And I don't have a history of um, the amount of irrigation that these trees uh, received. There was some evidence of an impact to one of the trees that was fairly apparent. When we finally got around to cutting down all the trees, I actually milled all of these trees. I took them down and I own a sawmill so I, I sliced them all up and uh, I think the point of this whole presentation is that every single one of these trees was decayed and hollow. Um, some of them extensively. So the reason behind the hollowing is a difficult thing to to analyze. Possibly the poor soil, possibly being in the containments, um, but in truth I find that a lot of trees, of redwood trees that are planted down in urban environments have considerable amount of internal um, trunk rot. And that leads me to, to question redwood trees and how stable they actually are. Anyway, my name is Blair Glenn and I am an ISA certified arborist. Thanks for taking the time to view this brief presentation.